Hmm. Ah. Yes. Fine art. Ba 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 bang. Well, guys, a warm welcome back to all the couch potatoes out there. This is the Anime Casting Couch where we bring to you lovely anime girls from all sorts of genres, definitions, hentai, anime, original characters, you name it, it's all here. I'm your host, Couch, and today on the Anime Casting Couch, we got another beautiful big lady for you coming from the world of Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. It's the one, the only, the world-class... Lukoa or Quetzalcoatl, or however you pronounce the uh, Native American word, uh, we have her here. Now this box is absolutely so tall. Uh, I mean, you might not even be able to see the top of it uh, in this video, I don't know uh, if you are able to see the top of this box or not, but it's huge. Uh, it's just like the previous um, B style by, um, by Freeing, I believe, is the manufacturer for all of these lovely bunny girls. I mean, honestly, so many characters get turned into uh, B-Style. Um, but as you can see her on the box, I mean, you got the lovely view of her. Very nice, very nice, simple box. Tell you what, very um, clean, very normal, not too complicated, not too demure, not too, very, too mindful. Obviously, she's it's a very huge box because it's a very big figure. It's a quarter scale. Uh, Lukoa is obviously a beautiful, amazing character, uh, summoned by the titular, or not the titular, because uh, that would be Miss Kobayashi, my bad. Uh, summoned by the young mage, Shota, who is attempting to summon a demon. She stops him and decides she's going to teach him in the ways of magic, as she is a dragon endowed with many abilities of magic not just endowed with uh, beauty of the body, but that doesn't help. And he's always always very embarrassed by his uh, feelings towards her. She's got a very illustrious, colorful hair. She's got two different colored eyes, one of which she keeps closed most of the time. Um, I'm drawing a blank for the reason. Probably it's a her cursed eye. You know, something. Here's a little, the littlest instruction manual in the world right there and we'll work on getting her out of this gigantic very tall blister pack uh. wrong side boom shakalaka very well packaged very very well packaged uh, incredibly so I mean honestly all this bubble wrap and everything Keeps her incredibly cushioned, which is great. Love to see good packaging. Let's take a look at the base. Oh, well, this is very, um, very common for freeing figures, freeing B style figures, just to have a simple, semi transparent, uh, plain plastic base. Uh, my least favorite part is that you can see a made in China stamp. Uh, through the plastic on the bottom, which is annoying, but when you have it flat against a black surface, it's really quite hard to see, especially on this one. However, I'm not sure if you knew this, but on the original C2 bunny, it's actually printed on her hair, the Made in China stamp, and you can see that in my old video on that bunny figure. Holy crapoli, she is, oh lord, she is tall. Let me tell you guys, then grab bunny ears out of here. I'm gonna use a special technique. Boom. 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 Boom, baby! Isn't she huge? Super tall freaking figure. I mean, crazy, beautiful, but let me not speak for it. Why don't you take a look for yourself in the close-up?
hell, guys, what do you think? Let me know in the comments what your favorite part of this figure is. I can tell you for sure, mine is definitely her hair. Her hair is an amazing, beautiful sculpt. It has the multicolored effect. They did a great job of it. They captured the anime wonderfully. You know, uh, it was something I was skeptical of, was whether or not the colors would be right, or that the sculpt was gonna be good enough, but it was. I also love her expression and the heart hands. Those are great. Um, unlike the Toru Bunny, her fishnet uh, legging stocking tights, they're actually uh, a tighter pattern, which I think fits into her more ladylike, mature demeanor. Uh, and also, I think it looks a lot better. I think it accentuates the leg lines a lot more, which is excellent. Obviously, she has large breasts and a big butt. Hey, those are always a plus. Uh, otherwise, the sculpt, great. The size, massive. Honestly, almost too big to go in my collection. As for anything else, I mean, obviously, I'm never the greatest fan of a bunny, but this one does it really well, like I said. Uh, I like that the um, flaps uh, are folding down almost. Uh, that's great. Uh, obviously the gloves and the tie, those are indicative of the kind of uh, made dragon design that they gave Toru, so that she matches really well, that's awesome. And uh, other than that, I think, wow, little details, nice things like the folds on her gloves. Couldn't go wrong with a bunny figure from freeing. You never really can, and a lot of times, especially nowadays, they seem to be tanking in value, and I believe that's mostly because freeing has been producing a lot more bunny figures than they used to. I mean, I remember freeing bu bunnies don't catch me in a, in a lie here, that would just skyrocket in value. But I'll tell you how much I paid for her. I paid 35,000 Japanese yen, which as of today would be about, well, uh, I don't know, 250-ish. I mean, I'm just spitballing. I'm not actually doing real conversions right now. And I believe that right now you can get her off of legitimate websites for just a little bit less than that price that I paid for her. So a great deal. Like I said, you can't go wrong with freeing. Uh, bunny figures are always great. They're a centerpiece of a lot of people's collection is these large figures. And if you're looking to get into anime figures, start small, go big. And you know what they say? Go big or go home. And she's the biggest girl around. And hey, I'm gonna ask you for a favor. Please like and subscribe if you really enjoyed the video. Please let me know what you liked about the figure or the video or what kind of feedback you think I could do better on my videos uh, in the comments. And I will see you guys in the next episode of the Anime Casting Couch. Peace out. <laughs>